I mean, it is so different that if you ask somebody in 1900, you know, about non-locality, about observer effects, about all the rest of the strangeness of quantum mechanics, they would have thought you were insane. The direction of the insanity is pointing like further down the line. Don't look at my hand or where I'm pointing, you know, look that way. It's pointing towards something like a science of magic. Mm -hmm. We use magic only because it's a placeholder term. We don't know what else to call it right now. Mm -hmm. But something having to do with the, the relationship of the mind to the physical world. That's where we're going. And it, we're going there faster and faster as time goes by. And I think that AI will continue to accelerate it. Share with us how that research came about and your findings on it. Because that was very fascinating for me. I think the listeners would love to hear that. Well, so this idea was proposed by a person who owns a chocolate... Uh, what is it, a plantation or something? I don't know mm -hmm. what the term is, but he, he owned mm -hmm. a place where they grew the, the cocoa beans for chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, and he had said that uh, he noticed just from being somebody who pays attention at restaurants that if the, if the people preparing the food are all happy and coordinated and everything, the food is somehow better mm -hmm. than if everyone's angry in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So he said, well, maybe we could do this with chocolate since cho people like to have chocolate anyway. And it's a mood elevator. Maybe we could push the mood elevation even farther if we have have it blessed by people who know how to do such things mm -hmm. with the particular blessing of it will accelerate people's mood. It'll enhance mood even more. So we thought, okay, we'll do a double blind test, a, a standard uh, controlled randomized trial where we recruited people we gave half of them non-blessed chocolate from the same source as mm -hmm. the blessed chocolate. So a single source and then blessed or not blessed. They knew the nature of the test and they were asked to record their mood every day over the course of a week. Three middle days of the week, they actually ate the chocolate and they were told, you have to eat it at 10 a.m. and then at 3 p.m. and at the end of the day, record your mood. When you do a, a typical controlled randomized trial, it's not that easy to recruit people. In this mm -hmm. case, they were banging banging down the door because this test required that you eat a, a gourmet brand of chocolate at specific times. And so it was easy to recruit people. We had to turn people away.